What up, heroes? This is James. Look, I watched this video multiple times. I want you to take a gander. I'm not raising black children. I'm raising children. I'm not raising black men. I'm raising men. And whether you are black or you are white, no matter what race that you are, there are certain things about being a man and being a good man when it comes to character and integrity and safeguarding the helpless and sticking up for those who, who need it. And being a good man, a good man of reputation, none of that has to do with skin color. Everything has to do with the character of the man. Now, this is UFC fighter Michael Chandler talking about the fact that he is not just raising black boys. Now, a whole lot of people had a problem with this for some weird reason, but I think he has a point. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. He is not raising black children. He is raising children. He is not raising black men. He is raising men. And there's, there are certain qualities that I think he's hitting on that we need to talk about. One of the qualities that he talked about was character, having integrity, having emotional intelligence, having courage, having self-control, temperance, love, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, all those things. A good godly character is what makes a man a man, not his skin color. Point number two is very, very important. Something I, I thought about a lot. The ability to be a dangerous man to people who are want to, to people who want to cause harm to others. So for you to stand in the gap for a weaker person, for someone who can't defend themselves, you be a defense. For someone who can't stand up for themselves, you be the person that stands up. For a person who has no voice, you be the voice for the voiceless. It reminds me of the men who stand up against abortion, the men who fought in wars against slavery, the men who stood up against uh, injustice when it comes to men being in women's sports, all those things. Men who stand up and protect and provide, but really men who stand up and protect and who have the ability to protect is what makes, I don't wanna say what makes a man, but it's a quality of what a man is. And, and men, you wanna raise your sons with that mentality that if someone's in danger, you're the one that helped them get out of danger if you can. You're the one that helps defend if you can. And you, my son, you as a man need to have the ability to be a dangerous man against evil. Point number three, it, it talks about in the Bible have, how having a good name is is more precious than silver. I, I might make I mess it up, but I'm going to put it in here. But having a good name, having a good reputation, that means you mean what you say and you say what you mean. You say you're going to be there on Sunday at seven o'clock. You're going to be there at Sunday at 6.55 before 7. You say you're going to do that. You're going you're gonna to take care of the lawn. Well, guess what? You're going to have to take care of the lawn. You say you're going to wash the dishes. Guess what? You don't go to bed until the dishes are washed. You said you're going to mow the lawn. You said you're going to do this. Guess what, men? Having a good reputation. Someone who you can depend on because it says in Proverbs that a smoke, smoke to the eyes and vinegar to the, the teeth is a sluggard or a fool to the people that um, that receive him. So if you're if you're a sluggard, if you're a foolish person, you are irritant to other people who work hard. You are irritant to the society. And men, you want to teach your sons how not to be an irritant, how to have a good work ethic, how to have a good reputation of a, a boy who is respectful, who's honorable, who does what they say, who works real hard you want your son to have a good reputation and you want yourself to have a good reputation point number four he brought up is really good but it, i want you to think about this your actions weigh more than your words actions speak louder to than words so instead of anybody could talk a good game i can read a whole lot of books and spew out quotes and things like that but if i don't actually do any of those things i'm a hypocrite 
And the world don't need more hypocrites. The world needs men who not only talks a good game, but walks a good game, walks a good walk, walks the straight and narrow, walks on the path. Your actions, your actions, man, is what the world needs. The world don't need a whole lot of talking head. We have a whole lot of those people. We need men who are actually take their hand to the plow, who actually build the build the wall of society and and, and be able to not only talk it, but walk it out with integrity. Walk it out. Those things are way more important than the color of someone's skin. The point number five, men, raise your sons to have an impact on the world. The Bible says in Genesis that we were created to subdue, to, to have dominion over the earth. That means we were created to mold and shape and create and, and make societies and, and all that because that's the glory of God. Train your sons, train yourself to make an impact in your communities, in your homes, in your churches. If you're on a football team, you are to the, have the best attitude. That's how you make the impact. If you want to tell yourself, if you're on a basketball team, where, wherever position he wants to be in, you got to let him know, no, son, you want to be where the coach wants to put you. Wherever the coach want to put you, you go do it. You go do it with a smile. You want to make an impact on the community. You want to have friends in the neighborhood, and, and and you are the favorite house because you are the best dad on the on the, on the corner, or you are uh, teaching your son and his friends how to to make uh, change a tire, brakes, all those things. You are making a impact on these young men. So you see. Character, having a good character, um, 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 ab being an advocate for other people, standing in a gap, being a protector, being the, someone who has the courage and, and wherewithal to be a danger to other to evil, not to other people, to be a danger to evil. Those things, uh, having a good reputation, a strong reputation and making an impact. Those things have nothing, nothing to do with the amount of melanin in one's skin. Nothing to do with the amount of pigment in one skin. Nothing to do with those things. And I want you to understand that it is more important for your sons to understand what it means to be a man, what it means to be a masculine man, a man of integrity, a man that have a, that has a character of God, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, those fruit of the spirit, the, the a dangerous man, a man of good reputation, um, all those things. It's more important for your son to know those things, those mean, what that means to be a man, than it is to know that the kid down the street is lighter than him or the kid down the street is darker than him. We live in a world where they're trying to make this more important than this and this. And this, your skin does not have a lot to do with the character of the person. Just because you have lighter skin does not make you a superior person. Just because you have darker skin does not make you an inferior person. Just because you have darker skin does not make you a superior person. And just because you have lighter skin does not make you an inferior person. It is all based on the character of the man. And, and more than that, it is based on who God is in your life. If Jesus Christ is not your, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, of your life, then all of this, you, you only got to deal with skin color. That's it. That's all you got. All you got is skin color. If you're not a brave man, if you're not a strong man, if you're not a, if you, if all that is not anchored in the, 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 who Christ is anchored in the blood of Jesus Christ, anchored in who Christ is, what well, yeah, that, then you go argue about, you can be mad about Michael Chandler, um, adopting black kids. You can be mad about that. But the society, society, I'm telling you, man, world, the world does not need, they need men. We need godly men in this world. 
and 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 if you're in the house, if you're if you're a man that's in the house, you are you're training, you're providing, you're protecting your children, you're doing all those things, man. I applaud you because you are the type of men that we need in society. I want you to continue to go at it, continue to go to work, continue to change the world through uh, the what people call the mundane, being faithful over a little bit, being faithful every single day. That's the stuff I want you to teach your sons. That's the stuff that makes men men. That's the key. That is what's missing in this world. Godly Christian men falling hard after Jesus Christ and making an impact, having a strong reputation, having a strong character, having a strong sense of protection for the community, for the weak and for the lost. Men, we need men, we need more men like that. Right here, you see it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, like, like I'm telling you, these don't need change, you understand? Yes, sir. These are fine. See how thick that is right there? Yes, if it needed to be changed, it would be way lower. Like it would be close, way closed down. So you got a lot of thickness right there. That's that's how much thickness you got right there. You understand? Yes, you got plenty of time, but that's how you replace it. You replace it the same way you take it out. You understand?